Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and of course we are going to talk a little bit about what's coming up this year as we um, kind of know that the name of the next version of Windows will be the April 2019 update. So insiders are still testing it. They're at build 18.3.2.3 right now. Of course new features popping up here and there. So um, I thought I'd give you guys an idea of um, what is to come in the next version of Windows 10 April 2019 update. First, when will it be available starting April 2019 as we see here. If everything goes well and if there's no weird glitch, which we hope there won't be, there won't be that many new cutting edge features that really will you know stand out on this version. I think one of the things that Microsoft wants to do is to make sure that this one rolls out well and has the least bugs possible. So it's going to roll out in waves. Uh, question, is my PC compatible with the next version? If it works with April 2018 update, if it works with October 2018 update, it works with April 2019 update. No problem. Will it slow down my PC? It shouldn't. They're really, really um, trying to tweak Windows 10 to make it as slim as possible and we haven't seen any you know problems with the um, performance in the next uh, in the last few builds and the last few versions it stays pretty much the same so you won't see a difference in in um, basically the way that all of this is working it should be as fast at least as what you have now maybe even more because one of the things that's interesting in here is they have the new mitigation from Google for the um, Meltdown Inspector flaws that were discovered in uh, 2018. Of course, the April 2018 and October 2018 updates have the mitigation that slows down your PC quite a lot from anywhere from 15 to 30 percent depending on the machine. This new mitigation is from Google and it slows down the PC 5 to 10 percent. That means technically when you get this you should actually have an improved performance. It should be faster than what it was before. So that's gonna be something that we need to see. In terms of new features, uh, a less cluttered start menu. That's one of the things that they're working on. One of the biggest problems with the start menu in Windows 10 is the fact that it's very cluttered. It has too many different things. It's just crazy. Well, in 19H1 or in the April 2019 update, you'll see that this will have less tiles. They'll be also positioned differently, kind of making the experience a little better. I think that's something that's vastly needed. There's way too much uh, cluttered, it's a really a cluttered mess uh, in the start menu, basically. You will have, of course, a new uh, settings. So the settings app will look like this. A few things here. There's one thing missing missing on this one that is available right now is a search option. Also, uh, you see at the top, it will give you a uh, Microsoft account thing, like you see here. So that will be something that uh, will change. So your Microsoft account, you'll have your phone linked updates reward points if you are a um, uh, you do Microsoft reward stuff you'll see at the bottom that the settings have changed are kind of a little bit easier to find you will have a in the pro version and the enterprise version unfortunately not in the home version sandbox mode what is sandbox mode it's simply a windows within windows so that means that when you start sandbox mode it's like having a fresh new um, install of Windows within the operating system in virtual. And this is nice because it will let you try apps within that environment. It won't affect anything on your computer itself. So that I think is not bad of an idea. Um, it would have been nice that it shows up on the um, home version, but unfortunately pro and enterprise only. Narrator, um, all the ease of access stuff, they've really change a lot of things, change the contrast stuff, the changed uh, narrator is being improved. 
the um, cursor and uh, the text and everything uh, is easier to understand with little sliders to uh, change the text um, you know uh, the text um, size uh, to change the color of the mouse pointer a lot of things that are much easier to manage with this uh, new version of Windows updates there will be some changes and updates first of all thanks to what is apparently going to be a seven gigabyte of space that will be reserved for Windows you will have faster updates better updates and they should take less time to install apparently why because that seven gigabyte of space will be keeping important files that it needs to update all the time uh, technically from what I've seen it'll be able or you'll be for those that have very low disk space you'll be able to of course um, you know remove that seven gigabyte disk space it's just that it's going to make your updates longer also for the home user a uh, new feature right now you have it in the pro version the enterprise version you can uh, delay or defer updates up to seven days that will appear in the home version apparently also so meaning that the home version will have the possibility to delay updates up to a week I know a lot of you would like more unfortunately it's better than nothing and uh, like I said you know there's the uh, there's also the uh, metered connection trick for the big updates if you don't want them. Uh, so like I said, less cluttered experience in the start menu. A um, light and a uh, dark team that will uh, be improved, uh, especially the light team. So there's like going to be a dark mode, a light mode. They've tweaked that to make it a little better. Hopefully it's going to be better and that you'll enjoy all of that. Uh, security uh, they're tweaking a little bit not too much there's not gonna be that much of a difference but they are tweaking the Windows security app of course as usual there will be a few things that will be changing it will also annoy you a little less when there are different things happening so uh, this is part of what they're trying to do. actually make less of annoyances to everybody uh, for sure so, of course, as we talked about the Windows updates, that will be um, something that we'll be checking out and um, making things a little better and faster, hopefully. And uh, better login. Interesting login stuff. Um, easier to understand and to manage login, but also a password list logging. That means that instead of entering your passwords and stuff, you'll be able not only to set up pins and stuff you'll have a password list entry if you want the password list entry means that you will be able to go to your um, phone and in, if you sync your phone with your accounts you'll be able to use your phone to log into a Windows PC no need for passwords that's kind of an interesting side to it easier to manage uh, login and also you know all the options possible the easier to understand uh, they're trying to tweak that and make it a little better and easier to understand so that's pretty much what we'll have um, right now there are some other features that are interesting um, but uh, as time goes by of course we'll be uh, checking out and if you haven't looked at my reviews with the different builds they actually show you in much more detail what's new and what's interesting in these builds so Coming up in April, we're uh, advancing through 2019, is the April 2019 update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.